Welcome back to our video series on Microsoft Embedded. My name is Scott Schmiel. When you receive a Windows Embedded IoT OPK Media, there will be a document within that includes some staging keys that sometimes create confusion. So I wanted to provide a quick overview of the staging key process. First, let me strongly suggest that if you're using a Windows Embedded IoT product that uses a single key that you requested via the key PID request form, simply ignore the staging keys and do not use them. The staging keys are designed to be used with server operating systems as well as for the Windows Fez products. These products have production keys on the COA stickers itself. Because you would normally not have access to the COA sticker at the time you are building and testing the image, you would require a staging key in order to get started. The sheet that is provided with the OPK includes a number of different product keys depending on the product, but most will have keys designated as with OEM activation or without OEM activation. Please know that OEM activation is typically only for direct OEMs that build thousands of systems that have implemented an OA technology. For indirect OEMs that typically build hundreds or a few thousand systems, you will always choose the without OEM activation staging key. These staging keys are also published on the internet and are typically not protected because they are blocked from activation. If you find that your system is failing activation or receiving an error in reference to the key being blocked, you have probably used a staging key and will need to be changed to a production key. Most OEMs use the sysprep tools so that after the image is installed upon a new system, when booted, they will enter the product key from the COA sticker tied to the system and activate the license before shipment. If you have more questions on product keys or staging keys, please reach out to our team. We are always adding new videos, so please subscribe to the channel.